Ashes of Creation is an open-world, non-faction-based MMORPG set in a high-fantasy world. It aims to bring the massive back to massively multiplayer. In this video, we outline scientific nodes and what makes them unique to the node system in Ashes of Creation. The node system is an integral part of how the world works and responds to us as the players. When we as players arrive in the world, think of it as a blank slate with wilderness. These various nodes in the world will be found hidden in the wilderness waiting to develop. They are also remarkably different from one another. It is for this reason that being able to identify the node type early on in its development and progression will be very important for players who wish to contribute to a node for the content and bonuses it offers its citizens. Scientific nodes are focused on artisans and construction. Once scientific nodes reach stage 1, or the expedition stage, scholars will begin to gather within its zone of influence. Recognizing these NPCs will be vital in identifying the node type early on. Scientific nodes have unique buildings focused on learning, and this is another key feature that sets them apart from other nodes. In the center of these nodes, you will find a library, college, or academy. The government style of a scientific node is unique in that the leaders are elected through a democratic process, although the records of who voted and for whom are not published. Scientific nodes that reach the metropolis stage unlock the teleportation superpower. Its citizens can teleport between the metropolis and any of its vassal nodes regardless of the vassal node stage. Citizens of these vassal nodes may also travel back and forth between the metropolis node and their own. When multiple metropolis scientific nodes exist, then an airship will be provided for faster travel between both those scientific metropolises. This will be especially useful for citizens of these nodes and is one of the very few fast travel options available in Ashes of Creation. It should be noted that if a metropolis or vassal node is at war, then none of the citizens can travel to the location currently at war. Now there are still a lot of details we don't know about how a scientific node fully works but as Ashes of Creation moves further through development, you can expect us to cover the updated information in a future video. If you enjoyed this game guide and find it helpful, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as it really does help us to grow. Also hitting that bell notification on the channel ensures that you don't miss any videos posted here. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so be sure to leave a comment and tell us what you think or how we're doing. We welcome you all to join us on discord.gg forward slash simorg to catch up with our community. Don't forget to check in with asheshq.com or the Ashes Pathfinders podcast to stay up to date with Ashes of Creation. Until next time, friends, you all stay safe and we'll see you again real soon.